The leading provider of investable and benchmark indices to the markets, S&P Dow Jones Indices, announced Thursday it would launch cryptocurrency indices in 2021. The move would allow the company to finally enter the crypto industry. To launch cryptocurrency indices, S&P Dow Jones Indices partnered with New York-based Luca crypto asset software and data company. According to the press release, S&P Dow Jones Indices will use the data from the latest on the top 550 coins. Following the successful launch of Ethereum 2.0 Phase 0, which is the first step in building the next iteration of the protocol, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin published an updated roadmap of what comes next for the project. Buterin's roadmap encompasses all Ethereum developments to provide a detailed overview of what's next for the platform. Key features of the next major milestone are the transition of Ethereum 1.0 to proof of stake, the introduction of Ethereum 2 Lite clients on Ethereum 1, and data sharing. An important change in the current roadmap is the realization that the three steps are largely independent and can be worked on in parallel. Visa announced a partnership with Circle Internet Financial, one of the firms behind the USDC stablecoin. Circle will work with select Visa credit card issuers to integrate software into their platforms to send and receive USDC payments. Eventually, Visa-supported businesses will be able to send USDC payments internationally to other Visa-supported businesses. The funds will get converted to the national currency and can then be spent anywhere that accepts Visa. The partnership also has implications for cryptocurrency wallet providers, 25 of which Visa is already working with through its Fast Track program. Fast Track members will now be able to pilot their own USDC integration initiatives. Apple co founder Steve Wozniak's new Malta based blockchain company, eForce, is rolling out its WozX native token aimed at transforming the energy efficient market. Wozniak's latest venture aims to be the first decentralized and borderless platform that allows anyone to participate in and fund innovations in green technology through cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. According to the project's website, companies can benefit from energy efficiency projects at zero cost and the resulting savings are recorded on the blockchain in real time. The smart contract then distributes the savings to companies and token holders without the need for an intermediary. Well, that's all for this week's crypto news. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to head over to our Dugascopy TV social media platforms to check out everything else affecting the markets. Until next time, goodbye.